Hey everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the three new APIs which got introduced with Constant Layout 2.0. But before that, if you haven't updated to the Constant Layout 2.0, then switch to build.gradle and update the Constant Layout 2.0 version. Okay, so these three new APIs are Mock View, Image Filter View, and Image Filter Button. Let's see each of them. So how about you are creating a design, but if you want to create a prototype of it, your objective is not to create the original design, but a mock-up view of it. Just to have a look at how well this design is looking, how well the color combinations are looking. All those things you can achieve using mock view. Mock view internally doesn't do anything. It's just a normal view where you can set a color, you can set a width or height. The overall objective here is just to see when you are mocking up your view, just when you're creating a prototype for your views, how well is it looking? So you can create any number of mock-up view. It's purely up to you. It also even helps you to define the color combination. Like if your objective here is not just to find out the placement, but also to the colors. That what sort of colors should look good when I use my views. Then mock view is really good for those things also because it does have an ability to change the colors. So that, that's about the mock view, where you get this advantage of setting the width, height, and even the color. Okay, so now let me talk about the filter image view. Filter image view is one of the great alternative for image view. It offers you a capability to set two images at the same time by using the source and alternate source. So one thing which you could see is that only source is visible, not the alternate source. And the reason behind this is currently by default, it accepts source as the first image and alternate source is like, you can think of it as hidden behind this image. Now to make this alternate source visible, you just need to adjust the cross fade value. If you make it one, then alternate source image is visible. If you make it zero, then the source image. But how about if you want to show the partially both of them? So if zero to one is a percentage value, like 0 0.5 gives you an alpha of 50, 50% for both of them. And now you could see that both the images are visible. The best part is that when you use this motion layout, then it really looks so good because it gives you the, tra the transition animation that image is moving from one to another place not just by changing its position, but also by changing the content inside it. Okay, now let me talk about one cool feature, which is a rounded shape image view. Okay, so let me take you to the center of the screen by setting the top to the top of parent, bottom to the bottom of parent, start to the start and end to the end of parent. And say that I just want this image view not as a square or rectangle rather I want it to the circle shape then what should I do here is that I can define the round percentage I could give it like 50 and the moment you give it 50 uh, this will convert it from a rectangle shape or a square shape whatever is the current shape to a circle shape now to get a perfect shape it's really good to have a square shape now here you could see this but if I make it like a rectangular one, then you'll not see a proper circular shape. Then you need to adjust with the round percentage value. But if you want to get a perfect shape, then square is the best to go ahead with. Like this one where I have width as 88 and height as 58 dp. You could see this difference that it is not purely circle, but it's like a, a edges having a circular shape. Okay, now let me talk about the saturations and other features related to this. So how about making this image to go completely grayscale? For a better view, let me make it full image match and match parent and we'll see it in emulator directly. Let me remove this percentage. So how about making this image go completely black and white? If you give saturation as zero, it will automatically convert this image to black and white, a grayscale image. 
if you make it one that remains same and from two onwards you'll see uh, a, a different kind of saturations added to this like as i said if you take it like one this will go back to the original uh, image and if from two onwards you'll see a different saturation added to it and this goes darker as you progress with the value and for 100 this really looks very strange so the best value is here 0 1 2 should be the best matches for the saturation now you could see this the dark color of red it's all because of the saturation okay so now let me talk about the contrast so contrast value is like from 0 to 100 you can adjust the contrast and as you adjust the contrast you'll see images in a bit different way like for example here i'm setting the contrast to 50 and by setting to 50 you could see the difference in the image like the original image was looking a bit better but now yeah, just a bit of image is visible so the best probable value here could be like uh, 0 1 and 2 where 0 makes it completely dark 1 looks as usual normal and two makes it a very high contrast but you could see the major difference here it's the same image and just by playing with the saturation and contrast it's giving a feel as if these are different images and same thing if you want to do with the image view the traditional image view, it's not that is easy which is super easy now using the image filter view and if you use motion layout and when you set this using motion layout you see these things with animation and that will really look so good not just this warmth also we can add here with warmth again the, this value could range from 0 to 2 you can give you know even higher than 2 you can take it till 100 but most of the situation it works with 0 to 2 if you make it 1 it's normal if you make it 2 then it will be quite reddish in color and not just reddish if you want to change the color to a bit blue in color then you could play with any value below 1 now this could range from 0 0.01 to 0 0.9 so 2 makes it look a bit uh, red in color but if you play with any value between 0 to 1 now, as I said, it will look a bit uh, blue in color. So that is few of the great things which comes with image filter view. Now, as I said, it looks like a bit blue in color. So now if you just replace this with the image filter button, it acts like a button. Just like an alternative of the image button. We had it earlier. The same applies here also. So I hope this might be useful for you to understand about these three new APIs. And if you are not using this, then I do strongly suggest you to use this new API because it gives you lots of benefits than to the existing one. It gives you an ability to change the look and feel of the images. It also gives you an ability to change the dimensions of it, like semi-rounded, a circle, all sort of things you get with, with a filter image view. So that's it for this video. I hope this might be useful for you. If you haven't subscribed the channel, then please do subscribe it because in the next upcoming videos, I'm going to post more about motion layout, how you could add a cool animation for your application.